Hello everyone, this is Professor Capco, and today we're going to talk a little bit about accrual accounting. Accrual accounting. I know you're probably saying all accounting is cruel, but we're talking about accrual accounting. And that is versus cash basis accounting. Cash basis accounting, just like it sounds, um, is based upon cash. So anytime cash is received or spent, that is when it is recognized as an expense or a revenue. Revenue would be money coming in. Expense is money going back out. Most large companies are on an accrual accounting basis. And that means that whether or not cash is coming in or out, Expenses and revenues are recognized when they occur and not when they are actually paid for. And I'm going to give you an example today of an accrual accounting. So in this case here, we have on January 1st, Acme Corporation prepaid, prepaid insurance on a warehouse for three months. The insurance is $1,500 per month. So that means they're prepaying, they're writing a check for cash for $4,500. We'll ignore for a moment the fact that which, which bookkeeper and accountant is working on January 1st when they should be um, recovering from New Year's Eve. But regardless, for purposes of this, we're going to say they write a check for $4,500. Now, most of us individuals treat our accounting more on a cash basis. So you would think that my insurance expense is 4,500 because I just wrote a check for 4,500. But because most corporations are on an accrual basis accounting, that means that we cannot recognize all 4,500 as an expense on January 1st. We're gonna have to wait on that. So let's look at how we're gonna account for this using some T charts. So let's start out with the first one, which is the most obvious would be cash, our cash account. And of course, cash is an asset. So as you recall, and I've done this in some, some other videos, and if you don't recall, I'm gonna put a card here for you to click on if you wanna go back and refresh um, when it's a debit or when it's a credit. But since cash is an asset, we're going to increase that with debits and decrease it with credits. Since our scenario, we wrote a check for 4,500 for our prepaid insurance on January 1st, that would mean our cash is being reduced by 4,500. So I'm going to credit cash for 4,500. Since we have double entry accounting, I need to have an equal and offset debit for 4,500. We don't want to expense it at this point because it's prepaid. This insurance hasn't been used yet. It shouldn't be expensed. So we have to park that somewhere. And we're gonna do that in another asset account called prepaid insurance. Prepaid items are assets. It's something that you can use down the road. So just like cash, it is an asset. And because it is an asset, it goes up with debits and down with credits. We have increased our prepaid insurance by a, an amount of 4,500. So I'm going to debit this for $4,500. We have now fully accounted for that first transaction on January 1st. We have credited our cash and we have debited our prepaid insurance. So we're good with this first transaction. We could do that as a journal entry. There's some other videos where I get into detail about journal entries. I want to move on to what would happen at the end of the month. So on January 31st, Acme Corp made an adjusting entry adjusting entry to an account 
to account for the expiration of one month of prepaid insurance. By the way, I want to mention at this point, if you are finding this material helpful, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps. And subscribe because that will help you with your accounting and you'll get better at it as you see these videos and even hit the notification bell. That way, when I drop a new video, you will be the first to know. But it definitely helps me out with that thumbs up, and I really appreciate it. It'll help me keep making these videos. So we're now on January 31st, and we're going to make an adjusting entry. Adjusting entries are when we make a change to the books that generally does not involve any kind of check being written or cash being received. It is, you could say, a bookkeeping entry. And that's really what it is. A bookkeeping entry is, would be another way to do it. So we're sitting here with our T accounts with, um, we had already credited cash for 4,500, but we have 4,500 sitting in prepaid insurance. We know the insurance expense is $1,500 a month. At least that's what the regular payments are according to the information we're given. So it is time, it is time to now expense the first month of insurance because it's expired. It is gone. It has been used up. Luckily, the building did not burn down. So we just need to account for that. So what we're going to do is our prepaid insurance is going to be reduced. We're going to reduce it by that first month insurance, which is 1,500. And because prepaid insurance is an asset, I reduce it with credits. I reduce it with credits. So I'm gonna credit $1,500 here, $1,500. That's my credit entry. I need to have an equal and opposite debit entry. What is that gonna be? Well, at this point, we're actually expense, expensing it because it's been used. So. This is not an asset anymore. This is now an expense. We're looking at the expense portion of our books and we have one called insurance expense. Now, corporations may have different types of insurance, auto insurance, uh, liability insurance, uh, uh, workers' comp insurance. So there may be different kinds. So there may be subcategories under insurance expense. So you could have an account for each one of those. I'm just going to call it insurance expense. It's going to work the same, but be aware that you might get more granular and might have to go into more detail. But in this case, we have now credited our prepaid insurance for 1,500. In other words, we've reduced it. Our asset has gone down, but because this is an expense, expenses are increased with debits and decreased with credits. So I'm going to debit 1,500 to our insurance expense. So our insurance expense has gone up and at the end of our period or the end of the year, we're gonna add up all our expenses, all our debits and see exactly how much we've spent or how much we've expended. So again, there's no entry on, this, on January 31st regarding cash. That's already occurred. So we don't need to worry about that anymore. We don't want to take that money out again. We would not credit another $1,500 because there's actually nothing coming out of the cash account. We're reducing our asset, our bookkeeping asset of prepaid insurance, and we're going to debit our insurance expense for that same amount. I hope you found this helpful. That's an easy way to show you an example of accrual accounting. And I am Professor Capco, and I'm here to help you survive your accounting class or just have a better idea how to do your accounting for your own personal business. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments. If I missed anything or if there's something you need more clarification, put it in the comments. Hit the thumbs up and keep your grade alive and by subscribing. Until then, this is Professor Capco.